Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, today is March 12th. I'm not sure what day this video is going to go up. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to go through everything that I'm hoping to go through and edit it and everything. Um, it could be April by now. I don't know. This is basically my last ditch effort um, to keep my shop open because I've been very, very slow. I've had maybe 10 onesie orders this whole year. Um, and as we all know, as a business owner, that like it's just not financially sustainable. Products just sitting don't make money. So I'm trying to get into something new and see if that will help make me some money um, and be worth it to keep my shop open because right now it's not. So this is sort of like my last stitch effort. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you right now to Danny at Sweet Thread Gifts because she has been such a huge encouragement to me to just keep going and not give up and find something that's going to work. So we're, we're going to try. We're going to try something new. Um, I, I did a video a while ago. I think it was like three months ago or so. Don't mind my kids in the background. Um, doing like a supply haul and I had bought some tool from BB Crafts. So I was like, well, you know what? Last ditch effort. Might as well try to make a tutu. So I have this cute one. I actually have two of these cause I uh, made some for my best friends, uh, uh, boyfriend's daughters. So I have two of those and I made a cute matching Easter shirt. I have this cute one. This is an 18 month size. That's why it looks way, way smaller. So cute. This is for the daughter of, um, a friend of mine and it has a matching, uh, shirt that goes with it. Her business colors are the, are, uh, silver and blue. So it's going to, it's really cute. It matches her business perfect. So she's like the little mascot. And then right now I have this cute little green and coral one. Um, on the camera, it looks a little more, it's got my hair, uh, on camera, it looks actually, it's pretty, pretty dead on. It's like a, it's, it's like a true coral, right? Like the perfect mix of pink and orange. It's so cute. So I'm going to do like a, a safari jungle shirt that matches this. Um, and then I went on BB crafts and I bought a bunch more stuff cause in my last, my supply haul that I had for these, I only bought like four different colors of tool and a few things of ribbon. And I don't know what I was thinking because I'm like, okay, none of these go together. Why did I buy these? So I bought these, I bought six more ribbons. I have a moss green, yellow, purple, uh, chocolate, silver, and pink. So I got those and once I opened this, I was like, Hey, that looks a lot, uh, familiar. I, in my last supply haul, you guys, I should have looked at what I already had. I had the same exact roll, just smaller. So now I have two of these, which is fine. Uh, so for tool, uh, I originally only had green, silver, pink, and Navy blue. I haven't done anything with the Navy blue yet, but thought I'd just, start this video with a little supply haul. So I got light purple tool, lime green, hot pink, yellow, gold. Hopefully this isn't too loud in the camera. These bags are annoying. Uh, orange, Burgundy, Ugh. and red. So we're going to bust out some tutus and see if we can get some traction in my shop and see if we can bring it back up and make it worth it to keep my shop open. So uh, like I said, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I, I mean, long as in like when it's actually going to post. Like I said, today is March 12th. So we're going to bust out some tutus, make some inventory, make some, make some Etsy listings, and then check back in and see how it goes. So I don't know the next day I'm going to see you, but we'll check in soon. All right, guys, this is how super professional my setup is. I've got my ring light and I'm trying to get as much natural light as I can 
do you take pictures? This is a, this is something. I don't know the word for it, but it's something. So this is actually a four poster board, like the thick foam poster boards from the dollar store taped together. And uh, the engineer in me used uh, popsicle sticks for a little more stability. And I'm using the term engineer loosely, obviously. <laughs> but uh, it works. And uh, this is an outfit that I made for um, a friend that goes to, that I go to church with. Let me bring the ring light up give that a little bit of light. Um, super cute, very Nevada-y, very much Nevada colors with the silver and blue. She owns a coffee shop called DST Coffee, and I think it's adorable. So yeah, just taking some good pictures of this. I'm not gonna sell this one, obviously, because it's her business, but um, I do like the tutu, and I just wanted a cute picture of the whole outfit together. Um, so yeah, I got this uh, wood paper from Michael's and I actually still have a whole bunch of it left. It was like, it's like four feet by 12 feet, I think. So I just taped it to the poster boards. You guys, this, these, uh, this tutu endeavor takes up a lot of room. I mean, I don't have a lot of space anyways and I moved my table so that I could lean that up against the window. Sorry if this is making you motion sick. I know I'm moving a lot right now. Uh, but I've got some tutus and stuff made um, that I need to take pictures of. How cute are these honeycombs? This one. Um, this one, I'm not going to show you the whole outfit yet because I think it's really stinking cute. And I want to make sure I watermark it before I uh, post anything. But here's the tutu that goes with it. Um, and then a pink and uh, like aqua tutu. So cute. I actually made three of these tutus. Um, I made them for some little girls at church. Um, so I'm actually going to give it to them tonight. It doesn't have a shirt or anything that goes with it, but I do have some samples that I wanted to, uh, like lay on top. So I won't be using the mannequin with that. Um, but yeah, and then I still have a whole lot more tool to make stuff. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got a mess in here, but I've got, you know, tons of samples with different colors. Oh, there's a shadow on that. You can't really see that. Uh, so, yeah. My uh, camera tripod's all the way over in that back corner, and I'm not going to try and go get it. So, this is what we're doing. You guys are propped up on a couple rolls of ribbon. Uh, today is Thursday, March 17th. I don't know if you can see that. The 17th, so you know I'm not lying. Um, so it's been a few days. I've been working my butt off making these few tutus and just trying to come up with different ideas because, you know, like, like I want mine to be different. You know, I, there's so m only so many designs out there. And so I just want to make mine, you know, just a little bit different and stand out a little bit. So I've just been trying to play with a few different things. I'm really excited about this green one. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so I'm hoping to, today's Thursday, I'm hoping to this weekend get a lot of them listed. Um, so we will see. Okay, guys, it is March 18th. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. March 18th. Um, and I officially listed my first four tutu outfits on my Etsy. So, fingers crossed, we will see how they do. Um, I didn't record making them, honestly, because as you guys saw in my little clip yesterday, my room just got destroyed. I had stuff everywhere. I was so busy and you know like this isn't all I do like I homeschool and I'm a housewife and so like all these other things I didn't even think about picking up the camera I just went and went and went and went and went sewed 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 and uh yeah so I have other stuff that I made um like I made this sample I made this cute one I made this cute one um and this so I have a lot of shirts and stuff made I just need to make a uh, you know matching and corresponding tutu so yeah so I still have a lot to make um, oh this one too um, but uh, I desperately need to catch up on my other responsibilities like cleaning my house so uh, yeah so I'm gonna take a break for um, probably the next few hours and catch up on house stuff and then probably pick back up maybe tomorrow and make some more stuff and hopefully I will actually film that because making these tutus has been so fun but 
it's definitely uh, messy. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. So yeah, so I need to catch up on other stuff. But uh, yeah, the four listings are officially up. Let me show you. So here are the first four listings. A mermaid one, a bee one. Uh, a whole, uh, I almost said holy guacamole. Like guac, I too am extra. And then an Easter one. So I think they're super cute. Okay guys, so it is Tuesday, March 22nd. Still feeling pretty discouraged. Uh, no sales. I did get one person favorite, my mermaid tutu outfit, but no sales. So today I did, um, I don't usually do Etsy ads, but I went through like my budget and stuff and was like, okay, how much money am I willing to spend like out of my own pocket on Etsy ads? Um, so I did $3 a day. So we'll see if that generates anything, but I'm working on, I made this circus one. How cute is that? And then this rodeo one. Um, so this says this actually is my first rodeo, but I'm going to do a, like a cowgirl birthday number set that matches those colors. Cause I love the, the burgundy and the gold. I think it's so pretty. And I love this circus one. Um, this one, I actually ran out of blue ribbon. I wanted to do blue on both layers um, so I had to improvise and I actually, I'm glad I ran out of blue cause I like this a lot more. So yeah, so now I'm just working on the shirt sample that goes with it and yeah, so I'll check in soon. Hey guys, so it is Friday, April 15th. Hope you can see that it is good Friday. And it's been a while since I picked up the camera and updated you guys. So I thought that's what I would do today. It is early in the morning, I've got my coffee. And I thought we would just chat for a minute cause I don't really have anything else for you. <laughs> As you can see, I haven't posted a video in over a month. Um, and it's just been a little wacky over here. Um, I've been super busy on one hand, but super slow when it comes to Etsy. I've had um, two sales. I've sold one adult woman shirt and I've had, um, I did have one person buy, um, I'll see if I can insert the listing right here, but I have a dinosaur tutu outfit. They bought just the shirt. They didn't buy the whole outfit. So I was a little bummed I couldn't make a tutu for that, but hey, it was a sale. Um, so I have done the Etsy ads, like I said in one of the last clips, I did $3 a day and I have had, I want to say, let me see if I can look it up. Okay. So I have my ad statistics pulled up right here. Um, and I did lower it to $1.50 a day just cause I wasn't seeing any fruit from it. Um, so I have spent $57.51 in the last 30 days and I've had one order. So you can see right here, I've had 15, let's see if that'll focus, 15,000 ad views, 100, and, that's backwards in the camera, I think, 175 clicks and I've had one sale. So it definitely has not paid out. And I don't know, it's just, it's just not worth it to me anymore, guys, if I'm being honest, I'm just, if I'm being completely frank, I'm just over it, you guys. And I'm just, 
I don't know. I didn't I didn't know what I was going to say when I did this next update. I mean, obviously I was hoping it was going to be like, "You guys, I've had like 50 sales and it's been great and my shop is booming and I can't, you know, keep any product, but that's just that's just not the case." So, here we are. So, we have some decisions to make. I've been talking to, you know, my husband about this a lot, obviously, and I, you know, have to be honest when I say I'm thinking about just closing my Etsy shop. It's just not worth it. I do have offers to do stuff for some local businesses. So I'm thinking about just closing my Etsy and just doing stuff for friends and family and, you know, local thing here and there. But I'm just kind of over the stress of it all. Do you guys feel like that? Are you guys there? Are you guys slow? I know I've talked to a couple other people that are slow too, but they're still getting, you know, five, ten sales a week. I wish I was getting five, ten sales a week. I went through my whole thing. I've had 22 orders for the whole year since January 1st, um, which, you know, on one hand I'm grateful for, but then on the other hand, it's like, it's just not, it's not worth it, you know? Um, and then it affects my YouTube channel because you can't do Etsy work with me videos if you don't have Etsy orders. And if you're not getting Etsy orders, then my YouTube just kind of sits. So I've just been trying to think about how I'm going to change everything and um, yeah I don't know thinking about just going back to being a crafting channel um, I don't know how many of you have been here with me since the beginning but I used to have um, I've privated them they're not up anymore but I used to have like dollar store videos like uh, you know, themed craft videos from like dollar store and Walmart and like, like cheap crafts, you know, crafts on a budget. Um, so I've been thinking about doing more craft videos again. Um, and you know, having fun embroidering on different things and just, just being creative and focusing my channel on that, you know, uh, like I, I have somebody that, uh, you know, wants a tote bag embroidered so I'm gonna do a video on embroidering a tote bag and I want to do a video on embroidering a clear tote bag and I want to do a video on you know hopefully these uh, these orders for these local businesses you know doing work with me videos like that but I don't have you know the Etsy orders to do Etsy work with me videos which are the most popular on my channel so I've just been feeling really stuck and just need a change and I don't know what that looks like but I I kind of just want the freedom of being a crafting channel, being able to post whatever I want, when I want, and not being stuck in this Etsy niche. Um, I hope that makes sense. I know I'm kind of rambling here. I didn't have any of this like scripted or anything. I just wanted to turn on the camera and give you guys an update and honestly just post a video because it's been over a month since I posted a video. Um, so I know I need to get something out. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what that looks like, but I did uh, renew my contract with Rakoma, so that's exciting. Um, so yeah, so I get to keep this baby for a whole nother year, uh, and I'm just really excited to play with it more and see what it can do. I'm really excited to do hats on it because that is something that I, um, I have tried and failed at. <laughs> um, so I am going to hopefully be talking to, um, a trainer and getting better at hats, um, so hopefully that will be coming soon and then I'll be able to do like more hat videos and I've been working with Creative Fabrica and I have some videos on Creative Fabrica that I am filming and are already up. So um, if you don't have Creative Fabrica, use my link below and sign up. It is great. It's where I get almost all of my SVGs and images and it's a big part of how I do my images for my other Etsy shop. Uh, for sublimation designs, which if you didn't know I have a shop for sublimation designs. I will link that below It is stitch NV design stitch NV the letters NV designs um, And then on that note, I am thinking about making a third Etsy shop for mock-ups um, So I've been playing around with some different things and um, I want to create some really fun unique mock-ups um, So yeah, so these are just some things that I'm thinking about and I just, I don't know, I just want to be free with, mostly with my YouTube again, honestly. Um, I'm just tired of the stress of not getting orders and feeling like a, feeling like a failure, honestly. And um, I'm just, I'm just over it, guys. I'm just over it. 
So I'm just being honest. I'm just trying to, you know, let you guys know where I'm at. Um, I, you guys are so sweet. I've had a few of you message me saying like, are you okay? Where are you? You haven't posted in a while. Just checking on you. And, um, so you guys are so sweet. I like that you guys are thinking about me. Um, makes me feel good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like I said, it is Friday, April 15th. And I don't, like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to give it before I close. Probably not much longer. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm just over it, guys. And I have, I know I'm just rambling here, and I'm sorry. But, uh, like, I, I have a lot of other responsibilities elsewhere. Um, you know, we have a homestead. I homeschool. I have my house. My husband's in seminary. And, uh, you know, we, we actually just finished our kindergarten year, um, uh, last Friday and so that was really fun. So we're on our summer break right now So I kind of want to use this time to get caught up on making videos and just being creative and uh, You know I have all this tool from these tutus and I thought it would be really cool to go to the dollar store and get some of the wreaths and make like tool uh, wreaths for spring and and things like that um, So let me know what you guys think. I just want to get creative again. I want to make cool stuff I want to have fun crafting videos um you know, but I don't want to lose you guys because I know a lot of you guys are also Etsy shop owners and, uh, you know, started following me because of like Etsy work with me videos and work motivation and things like that. So I don't want to lose you guys either. So like I said, I'm just rambling. I'm just letting you guys know where I'm at. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this possible channel change and just, you know, give me a, uh, give me a life update for you guys. Um, let me know where your Etsy shop is at. Let me know. I mean, give me some honest feedback. Like, would you leave if I didn't have work with me videos anymore? Like if I just started posting like crafting videos, um, in different tutorials and stuff like that, like exclusively, like, would you guys stick around? Is that not something you're into? Give me some honest feedback and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much.